Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in support, strong support of the Justice George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. Mr. Hudson is my friend. I think the world of Mr. Hudson. But Mr. Hudson wasn't in the markup or the hearing and judiciary committee on this bill. And what he would have seen is what I saw and what I put into a, in the Hill publication today. I saw shams. I saw ruses. I saw them bringing up Antifa. I saw them bringing up quote unquote Russia hoax, bringing up Michael Flynn. They brought up abortion. They didn't talk about George Floyd. They didn't talk about attacks on African Americans. They didn't talk about justice and making it better. They brought up sham issues to try to divert the American people's eyes to what is the Trump train propaganda machine. And they were on it. They brought up the sister of a slain officer in Oakland, thinking that they were going to change the narrative to the protesters and really the rioters. Well, it turned out it was a Boogaloo member. People who are white, many are white supremacists, and who want civil war in this country who killed that officer and then within a week killed a sheriff in Santa Cruz. You don't ever hear them mention Boogaloo. They bring up Antifa, and there's nothing about Antifa to be involved in any of these protests. It's unfortunate what we've seen. This is a good bill. Its time is now. It collects data on bad cops so other police departments will know about it. It collects data on the use of deadly force. It prohibits chokeholds. It makes reforms in deadly force usage. It sets up an independent system of, of judgment on officers where they won't be home cooking and hand in glove law as it has been currently. And there'll be better training, racial bias, and de-escalation. They brought up defunding the police. The Congress has not brought up defunding the police. That's their ruse. It's refund, if anything, but it's not defund. It is embarrassing. I was embarrassed to see the Republicans did it. It was a shame on the lives of George Flynn, Eric Garner, Michael Brown, all the other people in Memphis, Stephen Atkins, and Darius Stewart, whose lives have been cut short by improper activities and deadly force by police officers. Police are mostly good, but the ones that aren't need to be brought to justice. I yield back the balance of my time.